about the whole book-in-the-face look, but you are seriously pulling it off. What do you want, Jack? Oh, Jessica, the science fair is coming up, and I haven't even started. I desperately need your help. <laughs> help you? Why would I help you? Oh, come on, Jessica. I've always been there for you when you've needed my help. <laughs> oh, really? Um... Jack, I need your help! Uh, just let me get to the boss of this level, okay? Jack, help me! Uh, hey, Jessica, look, clipping toenails. Help! <laughs> you are such a squirrel. Okay, so there have been a few times where I've been a little, uh, preoccupied, but come on, you've got to help me, Jessica. Look, I would love to help you, but I need to finish up my science fair experiment, okay? Oh, man, this stinks. I hate the science fair. Hey, the science fair isn't that bad. Um, yeah, it kind of is. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -uh. yeah, uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. Hey, Jack, I'll help you on your science fair project. Uh, who said that? I don't know, but my mom warned me never to talk to anonymous voices. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, where are we going? Whoa. <sighs> Jessica. What? I'm scared. Well, these are the kind of things that happen when you procrastinate on the science fair. Uh, are you saying that this is my fault? Well, the anonymous voice was talking to you. So, Jack, are you ready to learn about the science fair? Um, yeah, I guess so, even though I still don't know who you are. Well, I'm the narrator, but some people call me Nerald or Neri. Uh, okay, so, uh, Neri, are you really gonna help me do the science fair? Well, sure, Jack. I'm gonna tell you about all the steps and procedures that you need to know in order to participate in the science fair. Well, gee, that sounds great, but, uh, first could you tell me why I can't see myself? Oh, anytime you want to see yourself, just press that little red button over there. Uh, okay, let me try. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Look at me, woo! Jack, would you let the man teach you about the science fair? So, Jack, the first thing you need to do is come up with an initial question. You know, a purpose for your experiment. Well, gee, I don't even know where to start. See, Nerald? He's hopeless. Now wait just a second, Jessica. Come on, Jack. There must be something in life that you've always wondered about. Well, there was this one time when my cousin came over and he poured soda all over my mom's plant and it stopped growing. And I've always wondered why that happened. Well, there you go, Jack. You can test the effects of different liquids on the growth of plants. Whoa, awesome. Now, before you get started, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. This will help you learn more about plants so that you can form an elaborate hypothesis. Hypothesis. A uh, hydrolysis? No, Jack. Hypothesis. Uh, you lost me. A hypothesis is a prediction of what will happen in your experiment. Prediction? But I'm not a psychic. Uh, no, Jack, you're not. But you can take an educated guess by using the information that you get from your research. Uh, okay. So, let's say that after your research, you decide that the best liquids to use are water, soda, and a sports drink. Uh, okay. In your hypothesis, 
you can predict which one will allow the plant to grow the most. Now, in your hypothesis, you should include the words if and then. You should also say why you think your prediction is true. Here's an example of what your hypothesis could be. If a type of plant was exposed to water, soda, and a sports drink, then the plant exposed to water would grow the most, because water lacks harmful chemicals that could halt the growth of a plant. Okay, that seems pretty good. But wait, Jack, there is something wrong with this hypothesis. Oh, what is it? You see, Jack, in a science fair project, you need to be very specific about what you're doing, and we haven't even specified the type of plant, the type of soda, the type of water, or the type of sports drink that we are using. Oh man, I didn't even see that! Well, that leads us to a very important step in our project. The design. Oh boy, I love this part! When you are designing your experiment, you need to take into account the variables, the materials, and the procedure. Okay, okay, got it. There are three major types of variables. Controlled, manipulated or independent, and responding or dependent. The controlled variables are the aspects of your experiment that need to remain the same for each trial or test subject. In your case, Jack, they could be the type of plant, the temperature of the plant's surroundings, or the amount of liquid given to each plant. Right, because I want all of those to be the same so that they won't affect the results of my experiment. Exactly! The next type of variable is the manipulated or independent variable. This is the type of variable that you want to be different for each test subject. In your case, Jack, the independent variable would be the type of liquid given to each plant. The last type of variable is the responding or dependent variable. This describes how the test subjects respond to the independent variables. In your case, Jack, it would be how much each plant grows. Okay, I think I got everything down. Good, because now it's time to talk about the materials. There are two things that you should describe for each material. What kind and how much. That's why it was very important to decide what kind of plant you're using and what kind of liquids you're using. You also want to figure out how much of each liquid you're going to give to each plant. When mentioning amounts in your project, make sure you use metric units. When you figure out everything you need for your experiment, then you can start planning out the procedure! Okay, your enthusiasm is kind of freaking me out now. Uh, sorry. The procedure is when you list all the steps that you will be performing in your experiment. Make sure you present your steps in a way that would allow anyone to repeat the process. Okay, cool! Then I guess after that I'll be done with the science fair! Uh, Jack, I think you're forgetting something really important. Uh, what? Um, you have to do the experiment? <laughs> oh, right. When conducting your experiment, you want to make sure that you pay close attention and record all of your observations. These observations should include qualitative data, such as characteristics, and quantitative data, such as values or measurements. You should record your quantitative data in a data table. Since there is always a possibility for human error, you should repeat your experiment a few times before interpreting the results. Once you have obtained all the data, you can then interpret the results. You should try to present your results in an organized manner by using graphs or diagrams. Once you have done all of this, it is time to make a conclusion. This is where you discuss your results and state whether or not your hypothesis was correct. And then I'm done, right? No, Jack, but almost. Aw, oh, man. There are a few more things that you need to do before you are done with your science fair project. Like what? Like the display board. This should include the title of your experiment and any other important information in your project. You can also include pictures and diagrams or anything else that will make your board look presentable. An effective display board should look good, but it should also allow the judges to see exactly what you did in your experiment. Whoa, 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 hold the phone! No one told me they were taking me to court!
Oh, Jack. Not that kind of judge, Jack. These judges will be deciding how good your science fair project is. If it's good enough, you could win and move on to the county science fair. Whoa, sweet. But a good display board isn't enough to win the science fair. You also need to have a good presentation. In your presentation, you should briefly describe what you did in your experiment. You should also be prepared to answer any questions that have to do with your project. You can practice answering questions with your parents or your science teacher. Okay, okay, what do I have to do next? Uh, that's it, Jack. Once you do all of that, you're done. Um, okay, so what happens now? Yeah, seriously. Oh, um... Well, you guys could, uh, hang with me a little longer and we could talk about, uh, test tubes or... Send, send us back. back. Oh, well, fine. If that's the way you guys want it, then see you later. <laughs> At the Science Fair Award Ceremony... Uh, hello all, and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we will now be announcing the winners of the science fair. Third place goes to... How does electricity affect the color of petunias? By Octavius Katsopoulos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you all enjoyed my evil experiment. And you'll all be happy to know that once I rule the world, you will all be my personal minions! <coughs> Unappreciative minions. Well, that was kind of freaky. Anyway, second place goes to... How Much Bacteria Lives on Your Plunger, by Jessica Franklin. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just want to thank my mom, my dad, my dog, Josephina, and all the little people who helped me along the way. Whoa. All right, kid, calm down. These aren't the Oscars. Yeesh. Anyway... First place of the Johnson Middle School Science Fair goes to... How Do Different Liquids Affect the Growth of Plants? By Jack Peterson. Wait, what? 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 Um, here you go, Jack. Jack, you just won the Middle School Science Fair! What are you gonna do next? I'm gonna rock and roll! Ladies and gentlemen, Give it up for the science siblings! Yeah! Are you ready to rock, kids? Cause I know I am! When your life is boring and all you can do is stare You wanna show the world you're smart but you just don't know where Just make a cool experiment that you would like to share Conclusion and hypothesis, you won't find these things rare Science fair! Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of boring and we're watching some awards right. That's science No, it was pretty cool. But you better not tell anyone I said that. That's the science fair. Yeah, the data and results gotta tighten all these bolts. That's the science fair. Yeah, we're feeling really cool. We're the coolest kids in school. That's the science fair. Got our test tubes in our beakers. You got acid on my sneakers. That's the science Good night.